Hey and what's up guys, my name is Yuris and in today's video we are going to unbox and calibrate this HANA Combi tester and this little device is capable of measuring pH, TDS, conductivity, RP and temperature all in one single device and it's freaking awesome because those are the main and most important parameters I need on daily basis. So without any further ado, let's take out my huge Swiss army knife and get right into it. But first, let's kick in the intro. So now let's open the box and look what is inside. Okay, we have over here the instruction manual, the warranty card. This is a little pen tool to insert and remove the pH electrode, which one is here. And this is one of the first great features of this product that the pH electrode can be replaced, which means this is a long lasting device. And here comes the little multi-tester itself. So let's get rid of all the unnecessary things. Here we have them, the main components, the manual, the tool itself, the pH electrode, and the tool to insert the pH electrode. So first things first, I would say we have to insert the pH electrode. To do so, we open up the device at the bottom and the electrode comes with a little liquid here at the top. This is uh, for like storage solution. So we're going to open this and uh, wash off any yeah, salt or whatever, like the storage solution, whatever is remaining on the tip of the electrode. Now let's insert the electrode into the device. So we just plug it in. So we press a little bit and then we turn it inside. So that was simple. Now it is inside and is protected by this cap. So fully assembled. Next, let's power on the device and actually see what the next steps are going to be. For this reason, I have a little cheat sheet over here and it says we have to choose the calibration liquid. So those three are necessary to properly calibrate it. I'm using the pH 401, the pH 701 and something for the conductivity. These I have placed in this tiny little cups over here. They fit right about the exact uh, necessary amount of the liquid. Let's go into the calibration mode. So we turn the device on and we skip the off and the calibration signs on the display. It shows some sort of pH, that's the measuring mode. We press the mode button, ignore the off, ignore the cal. Then we see the temperature, that one we can change, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and then we go into the buff. It says 701 and this is for two point or one point solution. Yeah, and we just confirm it with the mode button. Okay, great. Next, we are going to actually calibrate it. So we just selected the calibration method. And now for the calibration, we press the mode button until we see calibration. Okay, there we see it, 701. And if I remember correctly, 701 was this one over here. So we put this inside, move it around a little bit. Yeah, so it's supposed to say me at some point it wants to see 401. Yeah, now is the case. It tells me to use 401. So I take it out. Just blow off. Um, okay, 401. We've added it into the 401 solution and we're waiting until is going to say it's done. Okay. So I've just seen the OK on the screen. Now it is 
calibrated the pH electrode. I like to clean it and then put it inside. Next is to calibrate the conductivity. I still have it in this tiny little bag over here. To calibrate conductivity, I have to change to the conductivity mode just by pressing the, the set button. Shows me the micro Siemens one. No water, no conductivity. Now I press the mode button until I see calibrate. Okay. And then it says to use the 1413 solution. That one is over here. And yeah, I just use the back for the simplicity of this and dip it inside. That's how it works. You can just simply insert it into the bag. You don't need the fancy uh, cups and uh, yeah, it's calibrating. The display is blinking. So let's wait for this. There we have it, little okay sign. And then it shows the temperature. So it has calibrated. And now this device is ready to use. I used to have one of these when I started with aquascaping many, many years ago. And I don't know, I lost it somewhere. And just recently I thought I need one again. And I was looking for that. I reached out to the company and they were so kind to provide me this unit for free. But that's not a sponsored video. I just got this device for testing and reviewing. And yeah, what should I say? I like it. I have had great experiences with this in the past. And what's so great about it as well is like I said in the beginning, you can replace the pH probe here after a while if it doesn't work anymore or whatsoever. And uh, yeah, the, the whole thing is waterproof. It actually floats on the surface. So if you, you can just drop it into your tank, uh, nothing gonna happen. And it has four batteries in here, like small, tiny batteries, but there are four of them. And this is going to last, according to Hannah, about 100 operating hours, which is a lot. I mean, you just turn it on, you know, it shows you the battery, it's 100% now. You dip it into the water, let's put it inside here. What does it show? Okay, it shows us something, uh, whatever it is. I have enough, I turn it off. That has been like 10 seconds of use. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna last years. And it has a tiny little clip here, so if you're using it in the field, it's handy, it has all the features in here. So that's it um, about the HANA Combi tester that is measuring all those parameters. I kind of like the device and uh, I would recommend getting one of these. They are a little bit pricier than the other cheaper options, but consider all the features it has, the replaceable pH electrode, four batteries, it's waterproof and HANA Instruments is actually known to be a very reliable and quality uh, brand. They are producing these devices for food industry and agriculture. So yeah, I like this one. I'm gonna use it. And um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.